Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to 3D Now. My name is Jack and this is my review of the Sunhoki Rep Rap Prusa i3 3D printer. So welcome guys to the newly branded channel 3D Now, it used to be called Rethink Tech, but I'm trying to get into more 3D printing videos, so I wanted to name it something that had to do with 3D printing. So from now on this channel, it will be named 3D Now. So getting right into the video, I'm going to be talking about three important topics on this printer review. The pros, the cons, and my final thoughts on this printer. So starting off on a high note, this printer is very, very good because it's a low cost printer. As a big build area, as a Bowden feed system, you can print via an SD card. It's an open source printer. You can print with many filament types. It has a filament roller included in the kit, and it's a DIY printer, so you can learn a lot of stuff while building this printer. So in more detail, so this is a great printer for a beginner that has some idea of 3D printing, how to put stuff together, how to use electronics, computers, and things like that. If you have no idea how to use any of that, this might not be the best choice because there is some tech know-how on how to put this printer together. With that being said, if you're up for the challenge, this is a great printer to be put together because it's a DIY kit and you will learn so much about 3D printing and how your printer works. Also, this printer has a big build area for its cost. It's a 8 by 8 by 9 inch build area around that size, which is a pretty big area for this size and cost printer. Also, an extra bonus is that it's a heated bed, so you can print with other materials, including exotics and ABS filament, which is awesome. Next, the Bowden feed system is really, really good, so there'll be less weight on the extruder and the hot end while, while it's moving, so it can move more freely and easier. It takes that weight and moves it to on the frame, but there is a downside to that as it's harder to print more flexible materials. Also, the Sunhoki Prusa i3 printer can print with an SD card, which is awesome. So if you don't want your computer to be on all the time when this prints, you can download the files to an SD card, put it in the printer, click print, walk away, not hook it up to your computer, and your printer will be printing standalone all by itself. Again, this printer is open source, so you can download different pieces of software onto the motherboard and change it up if you want to do stuff like that. Another perk about this printer is that the extruder allows for multiple filament types. So you can print PLA easily, ABS, some exotics like wood filament works pretty well, but the extruder that comes with it isn't very good. You might have to replace it with a better quality one, which I'll get into a little bit later. Also, this printer comes with a really nice filament roller, which you can set on the table beside your printer, and the roll of filament will roll with the printer as it needs more filament, and the filament won't get clogged up or caught in itself. Finally, this printer is a DIY or do-it-yourself printer, which means you will learn a lot from building this printer. I learned a lot from, from building it, and I know you will too if you purchase this printer. Now some cons is that it is an acrylic frame, the extruder that comes with it is pretty bad. It also has a pretty bad extruder mount. It is a kit which means you have to spend a lot of time on this printer. It also comes with very loose motor mounts and it is an open frame so the wires are everywhere. So into more detail, this frame is acrylic. It's not metal or injection molded plastic, it is acrylic. So when you're screwing pieces together, it is very possible that it, it will crack and that is hard to fix because you need to super glue parts or tape it. But the good thing is that you have a 3D printer, so you can most likely just print another part. So the extruder that comes with it isn't very good. It gets clogged a lot and I just ended up buying a E3D V6 hot end on Amazon, which works amazing. I had no problems with it up to this day after two years. So the extruder mount that comes with this printer is really, really bad. But the good thing is that you have a 3D printer, so you can just 3D print a new mount and link that Thingiverse file in the description below. And helps a lot with keeping the hot end very stable and rock solid while printing, so you will get much smoother and more detailed prints. So this is a DIY printer, so it's going to take a lot of time to put together. It was my first time putting a DIY printer together, and it took me about two days, six hours each day which is a long time, but you get to learn a lot about your printer. So 
to make sure you block off a bunch of time in order to put this printer together. Also, the motor mounts on this printer are pretty bad. But again, the good thing is that you have a 3D printer, so you can easily just 3D print new motor mounts that work fantastic. And again, I'll link that in the description below. Finally, this is an open frame printer, which means the area around the printer will get really hot and it will probably smell because of the filaments that are melting. If you're using PLA, it might smell like corn or waffles cooking, but ABS and other filaments might smell a little bit toxic. So you might want to get some ventilation or not put it in a very closed area. Also, the wires are exposed, so you might want to cover those up with electrical tape or some sort of covering to help keep children away from this printer. So my final thoughts on the Sunhoki RepRap Prusa IFA 3D printer. I think it is, it is an amazing printer for the price. It's good for a beginner because you can learn a lot from this printer. But also it is an amazing expert printer because you can print more parts to upgrade it and keep upgrading and upgrading until it prints perfectly and even learn more than you think you could ever imagine. So for the price, this printer is an amazing buy, but you should buy a new extruder print some more motor mounts and extruder mount parts to make this printer work perfectly. So thanks for watching this review video of the Sunhoki RepRap Prusa IFA 3D printer. If you like videos like this about 3D printing, please subscribe to 3D Now. I'll be posting almost every week. Please like this video, comment down below. I will respond to every single person and I'll see you guys in the next video.